Welcome to another episode of Storytelling in the Tropics. My name is Alison Harrison, and today's guest is... It's a little bit different for me today because this man has made a... and continues to make a huge contribution in the parish with his entrepreneurial efforts, and I am completely impressed by everything that I've heard. So let's just get right into it. Today's guest is Mr. Warmington Clive. Warmington. Thank you very much, sir, for taking the time out of your very, very busy schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really a pleasure to really share the experience with young people who are interested in doing business because normally business is a thing where you normally have to be around to yes. really have an interest in. Yes. Because the normal work ethics that children grow up into is where them come to them parents with. Yes. Get good education, find a job. Yes. But they don't have the business aspect. Yes. They, yes. they, they are not introduced to it. Yes. You definitely have to, as they said, the child live what he learn. Yes. So if you run business, you will probably grasp it more than you're just trying to do business. Ah, yes. So yes. something like that. Yes. Know, and that's how we really come about. Because right. I was living with my uncle who was in business. That's uh, Mervyn Bryan, otherwise called Fellow. 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 That's my mother, brother. Right. So I was living with him from about 12. Yes. And then I see the whole business transaction being pursued. Yes. So after leaving school at 15, now we, we buy a, a new brand van. And yes. as young boy, you would like take the ride yes. out into the rural. Yes. So I decide to go on with him. Yes. But there comes a time when I kind of did I get weary of it. Yes. And because me used to do the you would have said um the touting. Yes. Me try to inspire people to buy. Yes. And one day I was communicating with a lady. Yes. To buy certain item. Yes. And to me get over it to her, she was really excited and I hear when she got to my uncle now who do the book work and the money part of it. Right. So, Mr. Brian, you can't send that boy out of condo business and I you know if you talk to people. Right. So, overheard in that, I was imagining into myself that inspiration kick in you know, as a Clive, you hear that? I say yes, but those times we never know say communication skill was so Important. versatile. Yes, 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 yes. You know, so it's like I said, but oh, if you talk to people for make money. Yes. And like the inspiration as a Clive, you know much people have to go to university, go pay money to learn communication skill and you are so fortunate. Yes. You get it free, all you have to do is develop on it. Yes. And I start think more now. So after that, now I start sharpen up on my vocabulary. Yes. Dealing with the people. Yes. And me becomes very interested in dealing with people now. Because it's like we have that combined spirit. Yes. Where, with what community were you raised in? Um, Marant Bay here. Right. Marant Bay. I was born in Fontil. And uh, I was there school around until about 12 years old now. My mother came from England and that was about 68, yes. 1968. Yes. And so he came out and decided to settle down. Yes. But my, something went wrong which me never knew about fear of fear. Right. So she decided to go back. Yes. And then send for me. Yes. But moving with my uncle now and then it start look about my papers to go to England and for some reason it just never it happened. never 
materialize. So she sent back the, the money to yeah. my uncle and said she cannot spend it. Right. She called me, she don't know how me not come. Right. So after that inspiration um, embedded in on me now, yes. me remember the $250 my uncle had for me. Yeah, do <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those time because it, it was the, the transition between pound and, and um, dollars them yes. time there. Yes. 68, 69. Yes. So when it when it pound change over two dollars, we get two hundred and fifty dollar. Yes. And my uncle keep it for me. Okay. And tell me so my mother say she can't spend it. So I say I make it stay there. Right. So when we move from Highbury now to retreat, my uncle said I have to buy a, a cow because out there, so never developed so much, and people from outside are real cow out there. And right. So, me this time, I said, No, Uncle, man. I can't buy out the, the animal rearing. I me, me right. never grow in that field. Make right. the money stay there. I find something. something for investing. So, anyway, time goes on, and I come up with the idea. No, for start. Right. And I went to my uncle and said, so you see the $250 deal we have. I'm going to use it to do some same clothes business. Right. And my uncle said, no, Clive, you're not ready yet. We at that time, I was about 17. Then. Okay, 17. About 16. Mm -hmm. So he said, I must wait until I reach 21, which was the norms of consent to a stand. Right. I said, no, uncle, I can't wait so long because I get a calling. Mm -hmm. And plenty of people in this world are wait for and calling and I get it. And I'm so fortunate I get my one. I right. have to move. Right. Because I'm going to buy me a, send me more out there more organized. Yes. I'm going to buy me a nice second hand car with some merchandise at 21. Yes. So I said, no, uncle. When we reach 21, we pass second and car stage. We feel a new car. Right. So Uncle said, Where well, you get them the thought the climb? Yes. I said, Yeah, man. He said, But you must say I smoke weed or something. Where you get them the car in there? Yes. And I said to him, sir, But Uncle, you never see me indulge in all those things. Then why make one get a conscious argument to bring in weed in it? Yes. It coming like something good in a weed then. Yes. Because at them thing I'm going to attack. Yes. So I say, it's all right, man. I mean, use my whole bicycle. Yes. What I have and build up myself. Right. And it was a blessed start. 1974. Um, September. Yes. So September coming this year, it would be 40. Seven years mm. since we start the journey, you know. Of entrepreneurship. Yeah, from that time when me just explained to you. Yes. So me said to Uncle, I'm gonna go out the man and I started that day with I went to rent a house and when we went there them so the lady said she not really rent any money. It. Right. Because them have to Pass through fair bedroom for got bathroom and then I something. See. So I said, I don't want a bathroom and then something there. Because I definitely never plan for stay there. Right. Holiday of my life. Right. Me want, me just, I want, I use that as a stepping stone. I just right. want somewhere. Yes. Anyway, me, me persuade her. Yes. To help me. Yes. And she helped me. So. <laughs> My uncle said to Mr. Clive, he's a madman, man. Oh, how, <laughs> how you gonna take a house where you're not in a bathroom facilities and you say, what more in your belly take you? I said, yeah. I said Uncle, we're not Jamaica with them, man. Yeah. We don't pass through them there's something a long time. And we can't do it again. Yes. Because I'm not plan for stay there for life. Right. So in any way, I stayed there and I started there and I spent a, a year at that spot. Yes. So I start the September, and by the end of the same year, I buy a bike. 
Yes. So I move from the bicycle now to, to the bike. bike. I me start go wider now because you know the bike, the bicycle couldn't carry me so far. Right. Start go all up Portland. So you were selling clothes. This was the clothes, business. clothes. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Clothes, yeah. And after we leave out that now, I mean, we do about our next year I had yes. with the bike. Yes. I'm going to buy, oh yes, yeah, so some van I was selling at motor sales up South Camp Road. Yes. And I didn't know a man who did live up here, which was a salesman down there. Yes. Named Shook here. Okay. And... Then he live in front of Seven Day Church. Yes. Out there, sir. So. I confront him. I said, Shook here, I need a van. And so I said, All right, class. Come check me at town. And I go down to the Monday when I. Because normally Monday day, I go to town, go shopping. Yes. And I went to him office up so and I said, Boy, some van for coming about. I said, Delay. Yes. So, you know. As Jamaican already, my man tell me say I hustling in the pan. Mm. So you not give him nothing yet. Mm. Yes. You not get no good argument. So I say, all right, Chuck here. So the next morning I go check him now. And them time I went give a man two hundred dollars. <laughs> it's right to equivalent now. Yes. <laughs> like two hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah man. Anyway, I give it and shorten my shopping money because I need the van. Yes. So anyway, I hear the price now, 5,000 feet. I may have four. Yes. I'm going to check my uncle now. Yes. See him on. I'm say, uncle, I'm going to get a new brand van for buy. That time I'm 19 and I'm between him that tell me about 21. Right, right. I'm going to say, all right, uncle. Either you lend me or you... Do I need that yes. thousand dollar? Yes. And him look for me good enough. I said, Clive, you remember when you tell me say you did get a calling? I yes. said, yes, you know, so me not smoke weed boss. And I don't know about that. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said, me see it now, you know, Clive. Yes. I thought I need to have where butter is over here. So you, yes. you know no fellow? Yes. Yeah. When him buy this building here, oh. that time butter used to be there and the bar and such like. And yes. So he just walk across the, the bank. There's the same bank there. Yeah. And tell whoever in our tarot today, I say, forgive Clive a thousand dollars. I mean, they have the four. Yes. So I just accumulate it. Yes. And get the total figure, which was five. Yes. And then write me a check to motor sales, you know? Right. I'm a cat down there and pay the money, make sure I pay the money because I don't want to hear no right. funny story when they come. Yes. I give them the money and thing and get my receipt, whatever. About two months after that, the van them come. Mm -hmm. But by this now, you know, I could have drive and get my license already, you know? Yes. So I will prepare and them call me and I go down the feet. And from there now, I get an extra boost. Yes. And my uncle now carried me to some of the places them that he, he was accustomed to. Yes. And tell them, say, must give me credit. Ah. If me don't pay, mm -hmm. him will pay. Mm. The confidence will build up in him now. You understand? Yes. By being so active. Yes. At such a tender age. Yes. So, we <laughs> start do better now, you know? Yes. And we do six years with that van. Yes. And then we buy another van now, the watch was the VW. Yes. And we start selling more things because the van was bigger and things like that. Yes. And from there now, I buy a little piece of place in Mount there, right in front of where we put the supermarket now. But it was beside the church down that yes. near side there. So yes, yes. First, the first little one. Yes. Anyway, 
when we get that piece of land now, most people thought I was going into clothes business, see and where. But by this, we have a different plan. You have a different plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The plan arises out from an inspiration again. Yes. I was going on, because we used to use that route, go by Notch River Road, yes. go right round back and go up to Notch River, go through Pilot, come down to um, Magavin, come back to Hermitage, yes. come back to yes. Springyard. Yes. That was a Sunday route for me. Yes. When I was going on North River Road that, that particular Sunday, I see a, a man by a river. Yes. Naked. Yes. Take off the clothes that he was wearing, wash them and put them on the stone to dry. Yes. When I was going up the road, after me done that, you know, after me see that inspiration, when me was going now, between... Notch River and Pilot, where they have that loneliness before you reach the district. Yes. And like our inspiration, I said, Clive, you see that this morning where you said, I said, yeah, no, I'm all something, man, a beard and... Yes. But he said, no, there's more to it, Clive. I said, like, why now? He said, because I closed my cell in still. Yes, yes. He <laughs> said, the, the inspiration, said, no, Clive. The man wash the clothes and I wait pan it for dry and I'm going to put on back the same one. You know? yes. So you don't want much clothes. Yes. You want food. You can't to eat. eat back the food again. You have to find different food. Yes. And you have that four and five times a day. Yes. Some people have to eat. Yes. And every time you go get that much fresh food. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's all right. But think about it. More, you know? Yes. So I try to cool down the clothes now. Yes. Because I have something different in my head. Yes. So I the piece of place I acquired there you now is after the hurricane which was Yeti yet. Gilbert. Right. So Yeti nine now. Yeti yet. December going down, we get a man draw a plan. Yes. And submit it, and it was passed. Yes. And we start to wreck the building, 89 February. Yes. So it was nothing too big still. Yes. And by August 89, it was ready to establish. Yes. But that going around... With all of the districts them in St. Thomas plus Portland. Yes. Give me an a, 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 a kind of establishment. Yes. Where people know me. Yes. So now that's me in the food. It was easy for people to identify who it was. It was one of my years a Clive. Right. Him know the same live. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right. He just wants to climb and it's done. Right. So I start because they were saying to me in front of the China them where they they bought from Yeah. I was, yeah, I was wondering how yeah, you know what I mean? that took some gumption. Yeah, really. yeah. But <laughs> one thing what me go realize is that God is not partial. Mm. And once you realize that, you're gonna use the confident. And win. Yes. You have to work to win. No other way we about it. it. You're not gambling, you're not do this. You have to work to win. That God, that is God. Law. Yes. And you can't go around that. Yes. Anyway, me take that route. Work to win. And to this day, I can't tell any young people. It is good to be wise when you are young. Yes. You can only grow clever. Yes. Right. And I start that little supermarket there, and it was the best plan. Yes. I could have really come up with that. I could be able to hand it over to my children. Right. Bill it, 
from ground and give them. Yes. Because them couldn't come manage that now to that take so long. To start from zero. Yeah. For, right. You know, to build it. Yeah. It, it sent all of them go university. And them see one come back and inherit it. Right. And me and them mother said, me could try something again because we know if you establish business. Right. You understand? Yes. Everybody said, Clive, why well, you left that up the song? I said, no, 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 no. Whether I'm willing or I'm willing, me have left it. You know? Yes. Because so God planned it. Yes. So you call upon the youth because they are strong. Yes. Me have to give me. And they said, them are going to mash it up. I said, that is not my concern. Right. My concern is to make sure I do what I'm supposed to do. The transition, give the children them it. Yes. And I am not going to give them it when I'm sick. Yes. Or when I'm dead. Yes. I won't give them in my living, living years when we can monitor them. Right. So what were some of the challenges when you started as building it from zero? Right. What were some of the challenges that you faced? Well, some of the challenges were those time was people used to pass some dirty remarks mm. about me. You know, black man this and black man that and they sell drugs and the whole works of that. And at the same time, None of them never buy no jokes for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So me withstand those judgments, right. so to speak, and mm -hmm. blossom in them face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I <you> still are. <laughs> <You> still are. <laughs> so it's like, I mean, there's always hurdles, you know. Yes. So there's no achievement without hurdles. True. True. So you have to just bear that in mind. So if you can't bother with it, yes, it not gonna bother with you. Mm. You have to bother with it. Yes, yes, and make sure so <laughs> you try your best because yes. when I'm being criticized, yeah, to me, I am being advertised. No press, no press is bad press. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, because if anything not going on for you, people won't um, pass any remarks about you, you know, mm -hmm. because they won't know you. Them, you just sit by the roadside idle, and nobody right. not really take you in consideration. True. But like me, no way, you know, I mean, the people, them know, them know. Me is a very popular man, you know. Yes. Yes, right? But the popularity come with some dirty remarks, as we say. So that doesn't bother me. Yes. Me just want to be in the mix. Yes. We know how to fix. Yes. So just put me in the mix. I mean, we'll find a way to fix my thing. You understand? Yeah, now no left me out. So, um, so while you while you had your supermarket, you do have other businesses. What other investments you made in terms of businesses? Well, what me do now? Me make sure I buy some land. And like when it buy that piece out by um, the place I mean, we a red stripe of them thing. Oh yes, right. Oh, yes, yes, that. yes. And I go like a bit more out to Johnstown. When I go Johnstown cross and go up. Panil, where you see the old mangoes and yes, yes, yes. the elephant going to, in front of like a basic school. Yes. We acquire that as well. Yes. That is like for um, development program, you know? Yes, yes. Houses and things, but right. we're not really ready yet, you know? Right. We we'll make them go and take it. And I would... We, we, <laughs> We acquire a couple of premises in Hamar dear yeah, yeah, still. Then. Right, right, right. Then them they bought them, we just left them you know, because my uncle tell me you now, sir. The best investment an individual could have made is to buy land. Because the land, you can't thief it, you can't move it, it never depreciate it only appreciate the land <laughs> is from then till now yes 
the land is not yours, God land. Yes. It was created for the gener for every generation. Yes. That's a land purpose, you know. Yes. We just occupy it until your time and somebody else take it over. Because who knew what was here a million years ago? It is not the same thing. True. Something else. Or it via can't. True. So me instill that from him. Because when I was um, buying some other property to expand that supermarket. Yes. Uh, one of my neighbor next door called me and said, I was sell. Yes. So, I said, how much you want for it? You know, me not believe you know that man, JB. JB, probably my father. Man. Yeah, you, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. What do yeah. I say, man? <laughs> yeah. 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 He said, Clive, I said, how much you want for it, JB? At that time, he said, man, 10 million. Yes. I have the 10 million. But what was my concern is that doing business and don't have anything in reserve would be a challenge for me if something pop yes. up. Yes. So I decide to get some another opinion from my uncle now. Mm. And I went to him. And I said, Uncle, the man said more than that. I may have that dead. But nothing more in reserves and me I look so anything can happen. Yes. And I said, Clive. Buy the land. Even if you don't have anything else and you have the land, you can use the land and get finance. Yes. And still keep the land. Yes. He said, I never thought of it that way. Yes. He said, yes, Clive. Do it, do it that way. And you can, because you see that money when you say one feet, Clive, you see five years from now, Yes. that going to come in like a gain gear. <laughs> It's going to be valued five times that. So we just go with my uncle version and buy the land. And when we buy it, erect a building on it, put in infrastructure and get it running and uh, use it for 10 years. Yes. With my children and my own man thing and then me, me, me do the transition and give them it now. Yes. And we come down here so come establish this liquor thing here. Yes. No, we don't sell rice and flour and something like that. But what made you what made you choose this kind of business model? Right. What I what made me choose this kind of business model is I was trying to cut down on electricity supply. Ah, because of the freezers and stuff. Right. Like that. Because right. when me used to operate that the me gone twelve years down here now. Yes. Six hundred and seven hundred and thousand me used to pay up the sun. Cause we have cool room. You name me something then. You have it. Right up there, sir. And it was a challenge. We we we, we paid still in but we are one that said boy it's so much out of that. Yes. For them something there. So I decided to use a different side to down here, sir. Yes. In the sense of not using up so much electricity, sell, sell it as it is. Yes. And it worked for me. At two times, I come here from GPS, I town come look if me I steal electricity <laughs> because <laughs> to, the, the, the word is wholesale. Yes. And them have it in a them head, say, well, then, um, what them chicken back on them, coal something, there's chicken, me a coal room. And, right. Yeah. Eh? And then come and them search. Because then if you send a man from Mount they were more than nowhere. You know. Yes. Send him from town and then a final two yes. times. Yes. So, Mrs. Uh, the style of me use work. And it's just me and the wife here now because right. the children they have for them thing going. They have their work cut out for them. Yes, yes, yes. 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 But me have two daughters now. One, um, Leisha, you know Leisha? You're right. Uh. Yes. She, a, a teacher, married and gone. Yes. I don't know, what place is it? school? Alpha. Oh, okay. Alpha High School, up yes. South, up at, see a South Campus. Yes. 
and Anika now, she got do masters and everything, and probably she don't want nobody to come take step with her, with, right. with them big paper. Right. Because we, we take it for them, you know. Yes. By taking abuse and, you know what I mean, when right. customers get upset sometimes. Right. Then we we'll tell you a dirty remark. But we bear that. Yes. For them. Yes. But they wouldn't bear it for we. Right. Yeah. But me understand them. Them get have what it takes. Yes. So to speak. Yes. And me never go to high school. You didn't go to high school? No. Me tell us from me as when me leave school at 15, me go with my uncle and then yes. 17 to business. So me never do nothing else yet. Self-taught. Me just look and learn and grow to know. So, all right. So you get into business now. So you're, you're accounting and all of that. So you did, you, you did yeah, it yourself? Yeah, do, me do that thing myself. Me get an accountant when things escalate. Right. But me now have to make sure put things in order before my game. So when they come back to me with it, I match it for self. I saw. We're in good order. Right. You understand? Yes. And it worked for us. So with all said and done, we're not comfortable with everything. Right. But give thanks for where we really yes. enjoy yes. it. Yes. You understand? I noticed that there is another build a complex further up yeah, yeah, beside yeah. the pharmacy. Right. Well, this is that now in a sense we cannot do it as we can't depend upon children to come help women. Cause right. them have them want a fear. Yes. We want whenever we should have if and when we should have step aside. Yes. We know where we bread coming from. Right. We want because the people, I'm going to take this again. Yes. <laughs> so, I don't want my, so, I can't come Retirement. here from picnic. Right. For when them don't balance off and if nothing left, then call me, give me. I want, when I go for film, I know I said, did I? So, what's, what is the business model for that complex now? It's almost, um, we're going to rent it out, we rent it in out to professional. Yes. Doctor, lawyer, those kind of people, right. where right. you know, you you feel so your money look a bit secure. So you never considered going into the hardware business? Yes, because we did have that place out uh, out um, license. Yes, everything, everything, copper set to call the ground space, everything ideal. Yes, for us. but then. When I check it out, at my age you now, I have to put up, go pan so much to watch money, to watch goods, to watch security business. Me, you know, to be honest, yeah. me just um, say no, it, we, we can't pressure ourselves. So. Yeah. And, and next, if it was uh, they landed in a market, they would probably get a knock. What I find out, Any business was not doing marrant there, stifle. It's very hard. It will have to be like a one away thing where only that alone exists. About yes. So I decided to say, because I say in marrant there you now, to be honest, it's like it's a sea to the parish. Mm -hmm. Anywhere the tributaries them found. Yes. It's one place them going on, yes. to the sea, no matter how long it takes. Yes. It has to find a way to the sea. Right. All the districts them in St. Thomas come to Marant there. Yes. So you find it easier now to get the customer. You get me? Right. If you should have out a license now, people coming from the western end. Yes. Him now go pass by, they come by a bag of cement out there. So. Yes. You get me? Right. And I want that overall customership. Yes. When me are the business. Right. I don't like the business and people have to come in and come wake you up for serve you. True. It must be very busy. Yes. 
that's my concept with business. Yes. And I've been doing it so long in Mount Bay. If you take me out right now, I say I'm out there, so no. Coming like fish out of water. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, you know, me put, put all them things into perspective, me just say, and the land, it is always there. Yes. And me can always sell it yeah, when me want. Yes. Or something like that. Right. You know, and that's a good little way to invest. Yes. You know, yes. the land. So, it no, it, even if it's not in use, yes, it's, it no it's bother there. me. Yeah. Because me know so it's still a, Appreciate. Yes. Yes. I want to sell it back. Because the people them want it to him. But I can't get them everything. <laughs> them, you know, they, they, they get it to me. <laughs> yes. I have to take my time and call for me and the wife. Yes. I have to have a few liquor or something. Yes. 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 Then get enough, man. So the old DNG place, what 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 are your if you care to share, what are what are your plans for out there? Well, to be honest, me not have a direct plan for it. Some people come to me already. What, what is thing name? Call Center. Kind of small. Call Center, yeah. Them yeah. come to me, but yeah, the guy who do the proposal. Yes. Me never know him. He come from. He live at towns really, but him say he was from Seafort and he went away to America and he do some some of those um call center learning. Right. Anyway, him, him go behind the back and then get some information about it and put it in writing. Right. And come propose it to me. Yes. So that was last year. Yes. Last year, like say, November. So I said to him, say, all right, cool it off till after the Christmas period. That was before the COVID. You know? Yes. Before the COVID. Mm -hmm. That year the before the COVID. Yes. Like it, I would have the, we start here about the COVID, so January, February. Yes. Then March, we get a, a kiss. Yes. Right. So I said to him, say, come, January the second week when me tired. Yes. And come the sun me and me and him sit down there and him show me the proposal and thing, 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 thing. No, that was when we revised it. Yes. Kind of show me proposal about November so. Yes. And me keep it. And me revise it. But when him come now, and me say, all right, me have the place. Which is the me had a building. Yes. What you have? Yes. I'm saying I'm nothing more than an expertise. Mm. I'm saying, I'm saying, how much a startup like that business is that? I'm saying about 20 million. I'm saying, if you did that 10 bars, we could have talked everything, you know. Yeah. But I couldn't really. Do all of that. Yes. By yourself, yeah. No, 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 no. Me could I do it, but me never see it wise. Say you propose something to me. And then you go ahead and do it without. Yeah, right, because right. It not, it's it, not ethical, right? No, right. and not, not feasible yeah. to me. So me say, because me have other people who me do some feasibility studies with where he know it. Yes. And them say yes, Clive, it can work. So me say yes, and employment and all of that. Right, them. right. But then again, it's a technical work. Yes. You have to have technician in your yes. pocket. Yes. And with St. Thomas now with the what they call the, the service you now. The um the one where the telephone one them are, where, uh, in, internet. Yes, yes. It kinda look a dicey over here. You know. Right. Right. So you would not have that ongoing sometimes you'd have to go cool because it no not right. work. Yes. You know that kind of way. Eh? Yeah. But I think so it was the wise the best move but it make for pause it because the pandemic did come right. in and everything. Right, right. Mess up and But it is something that you would consider. Yes, mother. Think about it that me, if whoever I'm me going at it yes. could meet me halfway. Because I had a place which is very important. Yes. I have the building 
which is very important. Yes. So if someone if you come now with equipment and manage the technical I mean, I part there, of you know. it. I mean, yeah. I got that, that place. You know. Right. I manage it for them or something. Right. You know, if you got somebody who will do that, like the my next partner. Yes. Who have that interest more yeah. than me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But I don't see nobody come forth yet. And true, I don't really have put the proposal out there to anybody. I don't see nothing going on. But I know say it would be a nice little employment hub. Yes. For St. Thomas. Yes. And I don't really like to do something. You know? In that industry. Yes, because even the school when I turn up, I have a couple of schools who may help. Yes. Because like Fontil School, when me, the first one I go. Yes. We give them some books. Well, if I say, fix up a library and give right. them something. Like right. That. And things like that, you know, and probably you know, had a school where I know and uh, the people them probably dealers car we sell to canteen to directly yeah and then so we do any little thing when we can how we can when we can yes. if we can yes and try and help them. but to be honest you know as a entrepreneur who really benefit from the parish yes a good little proposal to me wouldn't be bad Yes. But sometimes, you know, when the season comes along and it's you know, fruitful, you tend to relax and make it go on, you know? Yes. Until it changes, so to speak, yes. if it should have changed, you know? Yes. So, I still have something in my head. Yes. But more than like do still, but as I just illustrated to you, I need... To catch and watch. Catch and watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Catch and watch. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I yeah. need to practice that some more. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because even sometime, you know, when I came in civic group invite me. Yes. To them clubs or whatever. Yes. And I find the time I'm going to go. And most of them, them parents know me and thing like that. So them and so business wise them hear the name and right. such like that. Right. So, so it wasn't like any stranger really. Thing. Yes. And when <laughs> when me introduced myself, mm -hmm. lay down the foundation and thing like that. And the segment now where they go ask me question and me go answer them. Yes. The first Question mostly what them want to ask me now is, yeah. Mr. Warmintal, where you get so much money if you set up so much entity? Right. <laughs> Mr. No, you lose sight of the journey. Man. Yeah. I'm a yeah, circle. That's, that's not Until you have your mind on the money, yes. things get funny. Yes. Yo, you do this thing, I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody. In a creation, gonna have the money. In. Yes. But where God do, He make everybody have the time. Yes. And once you utilize your time, yes, you're not just gonna get money, but you're gonna get everything. Right. So through your what is source of money now, you miss the rest of things. Yes. Yes. And source of money can't help you. Right. You need. To utilize your time, and you will get not just money, right. but you will get everything. In terms of time, you are a busy man. You have many, many businesses. You have different things to monitor and oversee. How do you manage your time? We get the same 24 hours every day. And you don't look like you're tired. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you look like you get your full eight hours of sleep. And me, is that July coming, you know? It will be 64. Wow. And 1957, my eh? 57. 50, not 60. 57. 57 yes. Yeah, 1957, July. Right? But you say it coming like work help you. you know? Yes. Not coming like work help me then. Yes. 
Because I say you have to work for win. Yes. And once you are winning, you see how people look joyful when they win? Yes. You know that? Yes. I reflect for me. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You're right. Yeah, once you know, if you win anything, you feel glad enough. Yes. But me work to win. Yes. So me, 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 me I work all the while. I'm mean, glad all the while. You're glad all the while. So yeah, you're happy. Yeah. You're doing what you want to do. Yeah. Interest. You hear some people say, me I do this because I love it. Yes. You have a higher notch to that. Yes. Love can turn into a year thinner. Yes. Right? Yes. But this is interest. Interest. Yes. Interest is a soil in which intelligence and knowledge grow. Interest. Yes. Once you see some other policeman that is in this, you know, this um, police business. Yes. But you appear upon the shelf. Yes. I'm certain of that. You know, no interest in that. A young boy come on and now with interest and yes. bigger. Yes. And surpass him. Yes. Gonna hire ranks and a move up. Yes. In claim to say my work will be animal. This animal can use. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. Dirty remarks. But true, him have the interest. Yes. Him doing best. Yes. And God help him with the rest. <laughs> <laughs> why I'm full of, I'm full of, yeah, why <laughs> I will be listening and watching this for a very long time. <laughs> you understand? So you, you can't beat the interest. The interest. Yes. Is the soil in which intelligence and knowledge grow. Me no see you or where run the business and come check me. Yes. As a, a mentor. Man, yes. A man I'm talking and. Don't I believe some me go you name the school I mean. Harvard. Yeah. And me tell them, sir, you know have no bigger school more than the world school. You know have a bigger school more than the world school. Because all when you're done graduate from you name it where yes. at the same world you come back, you know. And you have to live in that. Yes. So at the so at the school. Yes. Rural school. But a lot of People believe that if you're going into business, you start today, you're supposed to be making a profit tomorrow. So that patience, that like how did like you just you all it was already embedded within you to be patient, even if you weren't turning over a profit or whatever you were doing, you started turning a profit very shortly afterwards. Well, to the, to, the, to the step that I made, there was some profit. But you spend back the profit to enhance the business. Right. So you don't really pocket the profit. Yes. You utilize the profit to make things profitable. Yes. yes. You understand? Yes. So you don't just try and scrape your salary. You call it, say, you're 20 now, and you put a projection on yourself, say, by me reach 30, me if you have this, me if you have that, and me say that. Me never really do it that way. Yes. How me do it now, me just say, well then, me go make sure, feed the business. If you feed the business, you know, to hit, balance itself. And when you're running a business and it can run itself. Yes. Under your guide yes. and control. Because in time you lose control, you know, there goes the crash. Yes. So you need that kind of insurance to make sure sir, the supplier get his own. All the authorities that you are entitled to get for them. And then it becomes so easy for you now when you get something. Yes. You understand? So you're not going to put a projection of, say, start today and big tomorrow. You see how long I tell you something? Go you're on. in business, yes. So it's not no today, tomorrow business. And right. Anytime you believe 
you have a problem, you have to know. Hmm. And I believe it's a guessing thing, you know. Hmm. But when you know, you're sure. Hmm. You take a different approach when you know, you know. You feel confident. And once you're confident, you win before you even start the race. Wow. Yeah, that confident when you know. But when you believe. You're guessing. You're guessing. And there's no guessing in business. No, no, no. You're not guessing, man. You're so not. even if, all right, because I know that some of, maybe some of your, your ventures that you wanted to go into ne are some of the things that you wanted to do never worked out. So failure is a big part of business. Yes, but when you fail, it doesn't give you the option to stop. Feel mean you have to regroup, remove, redo. And when you get over those things, that failure isn't an option anymore. Because you, you say, you're way clearer yes. when you jump those hurdles. Yes. You know, I go jump the hurdles and fall down the side, everybody come. Yes. Trample you. Yes. You have to get up. Yes. So you don't really want to be a failure of your life. Right. Right. You understand? No, no, no. You don't want that. And that, that can not make you really feel for life if you don't get up. True. Yes, you have to make sure. Because you can't go no more than the ground. You know. Right. And when you're dead. Only when you're dead. <laughs> and you're still in the ground. So you yeah, 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 you understand? <laughs> right. yeah, so, you know, it, you, you, you're going to get failure because there's no road without a bend. Yes. No road. And there's so much illusion over you. Mm -hmm. That's the illusion now is like things you're thinking about an option and when you analyze it in your head because you have to have the inspiration. You know? Yes. The imagination. You know? Yes. Because that's the idea. You have to see it. Right. You have to Visualize it in a yourself and in a your own thinking, you know, map it out how you don't like it to be under God guidance because yes. you can't do it by yourself, you know. Yes. No, no, no. That's why me glad there's a God. Yes. Because when me I go do anything, me have a heart to make the right decision. You know? Yes. Decision can make you be a failure. I'll make you succeed. Yes. Decision that you're making. Yes. Moving forward. So, in other words now, after you try to visualize the things, then, man, where your, your next move. Yes. And you put it together. And that illusion catch you. Because as many just refer, the illusion is something appear to be what it is not. Right. That's the illusion. You don't know at the seaside and now and you look out. I see and you see where the cloud come down upon the sea there so. Yes. But when you reach out they say gone beyond. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you get yes. me? So yes. it's an illusion. Though. Yes. You don't want that in your <laughs> <laughs> no illusions. You have to <laughs> be sure. No work out. You have to be sure. Yeah. So you just need to move on, you know? Right. Yeah and and Work hard, praise the Lord, and you will get your reward. Boy, man, you're just dropping the gems today, Clive. Yeah, <laughs> you're yeah, 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 dropping yeah, the gems. But it's simple. I say you have to do it. You can't be. What as, one me was at the window there so one time, you see? One little young boy come uh, about 12. He said, Mr. Clive, me never busy, so I have enough time to lecture with him. Yes. He said, Mr. Clive, how long? It's not going to take me to make it. Just <laughs> out of the blue like that. Him. I said to him, sir, praise the Lord, work hard, very hard, and you'll get your reward. 
two minutes I hear him and manage stand up same place. I say, you hear me, sir? He said, yes, but <laughs> no, I mean, I check, say, uh, some encyclopedia, I mean, if you go looking on. Yeah, yeah, send him to go research and all them <laughs> yeah. something. Yes. No, it's simple. Oh, it's simple. You know that? But as you just rightly said, and everybody wanted today. No, it can't work. You have to sow the seed, cherish it, do all other things. If you want it for bear fruit. You understand? Yes. Yeah, so all I can tell the young people them now, if they would take an advice from me, is it is good to be wise when they're young. You can only grow clever. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, try. Now we tell ya the normal talk life begins at forty. No, 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 no bother with that. You try and do something, hurl it. You can't, you can't too early, you know? Right. Ten, eleven, just go on, man. Because I hope you are going. You know? Yeah. And if you've if you been permitted with the time, you're supposed to enjoy it. Yes. Permitted with the time because, you know, that not have any... Govern in the sense of telling you when and how. When. Yes. Time is a master. You understand? Yes. Time. It just fall. My auntie, which was, <laughs> which was my um, uncle's wife. Yes. That's why she mad at her. Yes. When she used to learn. Dressmaking in town. Yes. Leaving country girl town you now, as a nice country girl, and woman learn trade with. She obedient and so she said, want her around her, because you know town stay. Yes. Everybody a rip and run off. But when she find that girl, you know, and she had do well, and she can, you can, when you can make wedding dress as a, as a dressmaker, you're a full-fledged dressmaker. Yes. Some tailor can't make the jacket in a young, can't make the pants. Yes. Right, but she was a full-fledged dressmaker. So she said, Clive, when I was learning the trade, you know, the lady didn't love me so much and she want me around her, but there comes a time when I have to move. Yes. So she with wool, certain skill for her, Yes. And I show her them. Yes. But she in herself now knows you say you have to find the formula for yourself. Nobody yes. now can show you it. Yes. So when them she cut out the belt them and the buckle for cover. Yes. She sent her a town. Go buy trimmings. So my auntie said, no man, something wrong. But when she come back, them assembly. You know. Yes. So my auntie said, no say nothing to her. Because only that lead now for she moving. You know? Yes. So when I turn out, she cut them out and send her a town you now. And she, like, she would have gone out of the gate. They said, no, and come back and peep through the key wall. Yes. And see how the woman assembled them. You know? Yes. And still go away back to her town. Yes. So when she cut it again the next time, she still not trouble it. Yes. Because when she look and see it, it's simple. Yes. That's the family line. So when I tell she cut it now and put it down, she assembled them. Okay. So the, 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 the lady in control said to her, said, Who authorized you to do that? She said, The place where you send me a town, go buy the trimmings, them. Then do those things down there, I'm going to see it do. Yeah. I'm going to just grasp it. Yes. So what I'm explaining to you now is that you're doing. This business here, yes, and everybody, I gonna show you how it do, and the ingredient and the formula. True. You have to find it for yourself. True. If you not do that, you'll be out there in the cool for the rest of your life. So it's just the formula where you, as an individual, have to search for yourself. Search for your formula. Yeah. No. No. 
Nobody now come, now go show you. If you learn trade with a man and the techniques. Yes. Him, 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 him no one show you that. Thing. Yes. You must see the interest in you and probably like how you, you relate to him also. Yes. Obedient to him also and he may show you that part. You know. And that part probably is the ending show you that. Yes. And you did that for 10, 15 years and you never know that part. Yes. Yes. So it is always good for you to try to find the formula. And you go and work with a big company where in existence for how much years and well established. Yes. You go there. As a CEO, he said, How much you want? For your salary, you tell him any big money, and him agree to it. Yes. But you now find the formula working for somebody. No, 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 no. You now look at that part there. That True. <laughs> yeah, man. You now look at that part, True. you. True. And that in family. True. For the rest of life, and if certain of them, you them, no obedient him now hear that either, man. Him not get that part there. Yes. Him, then we choose a one brother also mm -hmm. and tell him that because you know you have to move on. Yes. But him not give everybody it. You and your, your father and your mother have to close. Yes. And him decide to tell you. Yes. Yeah, man. And enough secret parents have where him just tell one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. You prefer that one more. But when I say you prefer it more, you know, it's not really... So you reject the rest of them, but to owe him relate to you and to owe him in body language, work with you. Yes. You kind of have a more connection with that one. Right. That's just how it goes. But you don't really make them know, you know. You understand? Know right. Because it will look biased or something like that. But you are only human. Yes. You have to. <laughs> yes, yes. You can't beat that. Yes. Because you see somebody now, you know. You just don't love him. He never do you nothing yet, you know. Yes. You understand? Know yes. And you and him never interact, man, nothing. Yeah. But you just don't take him, yes. so to speak. Yes. And when time prevail and you get to know the person <laughs> you say my god yes you know what I mean you might tell him say you did have that instinct you know you know right but then again no you realize say boy look what more is missing right yeah right yeah man I just saw it go still you know what I mean you know so finally Clive how do you want to be remembered yes that is a good way, good question. Cause me, to be honest, me never really think of it, how I want to be remembered. But now that you highlight it, me just want to be remembered as a native of St. Thomas who inspire other people to do well. You know what I mean? Yes. Because starting, you know, me never have them things I made, you know. Right. Me I tell you the truth. As me tell you, sir. Yeah, right. Me just utilize my time. Yes. Me never have anything set up like some other say, boy, me want supermarket, me want this. Me, you know what I mean? Right. Me never have them things I made. As me tell you, as me I go along the way and things blossom, me just implement that and go on. But no, that's, you know, may I get older now. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting better. You're not getting old. Yeah. You're getting better. Well, no matter how you take it, you know, it's just one way. You yes, know? yes, yes. Yeah. I just want to see the, me, me, Clive try. Clive tried. Try. Clive try. And I want other people to humiliate it uh, not because you're born in poverty. That not so you can't advance yourself out of it. 
You understand? Just don't sit back and blame parents mm -hmm. on your past. Fix it. Because every generation blame the one before. Mm -hmm. My philosophy is to fix it. I blame them. Yes. Fix it. Because me no never have any my parents. And I couldn't go tell them that I want to go to university. And I laugh after me. Yes. You understand? Yes. But for me, people them now, and them tell me to the to the root where me push them through. Yes. Them reach it. Yes. And they never have to come to me and say, Daddy, you have to go to student loan, go look, student loan. Or the semester, me can't find it. Right. They never get them sound yet. Yes. And me never plan for it. Yes. But the way me set the root, it be a fruit. <laughs> Why are you full of them, man? You're full of the wise no, words. No. Why are you full of wisdom, class? <laughs> it just come natural still. You know? You're very good. Very yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know nothing to study. Remember, I said, I ain't never been on a... Yeah. First time. First time. Now. First but time. It, it's simple. Yes. You just deal with it like that. And I'm really glad the children um, come and make me feel proud. As, as my children, because everybody did have, have that venture as a failure. Because when I do the transition, I said to them, say, not because nobody not come to you and tell you. you know. Yes. Right? Me as a father telling you, say, you know, it's being watched. Mm. So you need to combine yourself and keep yourself in good order. Yes. No matter what. That's your guidance. Keep it, keep yourself circumspect because you're being watched. Nobody now have to come to you and tell us, may I watch you? You can see that because everybody feels so well and, you know, the racism thing. Right. And it is being embedded in. People in general. Yes. It, it, it's not nothing where them create, you know. Mm -hmm. It's how them see it happen, you know. Because he's in business now. When me up there, so I also, people come with the invoice to me, come to me to give me the invoice, you know. From? <laughs> from, from, um, from health, from distributor. Right. And me I talk to all a white man. Yes. Where him I look business from him. You know? Yes. But me and my talk and the man then come in. Right? Me and the white man are talking. Yeah. And the the, 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 the delivery men then come with the invoice you know? and they say, man, in the evening to me. You know? And carry the invoice, go give the white man side of me. Interesting. I wonder if you hear what I say. Of course, me hear what you say. So when the white man give him Look by and I said, no, man, you're looking for the manager. They said, yes. He said, senior, sir, man. Ah. Anyway, when he gave me, Mr. said, you say, yeah, the slavery mentality, now you see a way, man. He said, yes, man, I chew your talk. Because everywhere me go, I pay Chinese and white man and yes. Indian, how they suck me up. Yes. So I now look for no black man a bit. Yes. Me say, I chew your talk. Yes. You know what yes. So you know that kind of... Uh, Settings. Yes. And when you try to break that cycle. Yes. It's not an easy road. True. But so True. you see the glitter and the glamour. Not easy. Not an easy road. But you're determined to get it right. Yes. Not gonna happen without a fight. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, <laughs> thank you very much, Mr. Warmington. Today's yeah. guest on Storytelling in the Tropics, Clive Warmington. It's yeah. been my honor to, to, for you to speak with me, sir. It's been my honor. I've learned so much. Yeah. And I know that this podcast and this video will be listened to and watched for years and decades to come. So thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank it's you very much. It's a pleasure, much. man, because, I mean, you know, 
you go out of your way to make sure so you get get it from the horse's mouth. Yes. Yes. And you can carry it all about. <laughs> this has been another episode of storytelling in the tropics. My name is Alison Harrison, today's guest, Clive Warmington. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. Until next time, yeah. peace. All right, Alison. <laughs>